Hey, how you doing? It's Emilio here. We've got a new Mac OS, well, which is Mac OS Sequoia. It's not available to the public just yet, but you can actually get it today and start using it today and get prepared for when it's widely released out to the public. It looks really cool. Just finished off watching the Apple keynote and there's some really, really cool features, including all of this new Apple intelligence stuff, which is fully built into the Mac better integration with your iPhone. We're gonna show you how to get that set up and ready for you today. Hey, my name is Emilio. I have this YouTube channel talking about all things tech. And if you wanna stay up to date, click on the button, click on the bell, so you don't miss out on anything. All right, let's now jump onto our Mac and show you how to do the thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and navigate to the website beta.apple.com, B-E-T-A.apple.com. Or just go into your Google machine and type in Apple Beta. You'll be presented with this screen right over here. We can go ahead and try the new iOS for the iPhone, for the iPad, but you can also try macOS Sequoia. What you first need to do is go and sign up. So you need to go and register yourself to be an eligible member of the beta testing team. Put in your Apple ID, log in, and then it'll register your Mac so that you can actually use it in the beta program. Now, if you've logged in and you've logged in successfully, you should see something like this. We are now ready to go. And what you now need to do is under the get started area, you've got this area where you can now enroll your Mac. And now look, just because you are now part of the beta a program, that means you also can now do the iOS updates because you're now part of the all Apple ecosystem program, which is really cool. So enroll your Mac right over here and it gives you a little bit of a spiel about some things that you may want to be aware of because it is a beta. It's not fully like bug free. So back up your Mac, make sure you turn on beta over here under software updates, which we'll show you right now. We now go and open up the system settings section on our Mac. And with that open, we navigate down to general, software update. You should now see beta updates listed. It's turned off at the moment. We wanna go and switch it on. And you'll now notice there's a few options, including some public betas for the Sonoma, but also for Sequoia's developer beta. It'll do a little bit of a scan of the interwebs. Here it is, 14.76 gig. Mac OS 15 beta, ready to go. We click on upgrade now. Let it download, it'll then install and we should be done. Now, one thing to remember, of course, is that this is a beta, which means there may be a few little bugs and quirks still on this version of Sequoia before the full public, full production, final release is sent out to the public. So just be aware of that. And the other thing to note, of course, is that not every single application may work. So if you've got apps running really, really good, the new versions of those apps may not be available or compatible yet with Sequoia. And also not all of the features of the new Sequoia may be actually available on your Mac. It really depends on the Mac hardware that you've also got. So just keep that in mind. But hey, that's it for this video. Check out some of my other YouTube videos. If you love tech, click on the subscription button on the bell as well so that you don't miss out on anything. And we'll see you on the next video.